Ireland is where it's at this weekend racing wise. We've got Nace on Saturday and Punchestown on Sunday. It's a bumper weekend of Irish action and all eyes will be on the Emerald Isle at Punchestown on Sunday. There is a €15,000 guarantee in the Tote Pick 6 and there's also a €50,000 guarantee in the place pot. So it's worth your while studying the Punchestown card. Leg 1 of the Pick 6 is at 145. It's a cross-country chase. And the one I like here is Bally Casey, not only for this race, but also for the Glen Farkless cross-country chase at the Cheltenham Festival. I think he's got a cracking chance in that. And if that's the case, he'd want to be winning that. Just in case, because it's the first leg, we're going to include Josie's orders for the Banks King and the Bulger. Moving on to leg two at 220, it is a listed novice hurdle and Prince Dobrell. We don't see too much of him, but when we do, he usually wins. So he's worth including in your coupons, as is the Henry de Bromhead Mayor, Sonoria, who was taken out of the Dublin Racing Festival because of quick ground it's going to be slower at nace and i think she's got a cracking chance moving on to leg three to 250 it is a two and a half mile maiden hurdle and this is really open and competitive the three that i like for pick six purposes are lighthouse warrior number five on your race card tremendously consistent also number 11 castle oliver a narrow bumper winner last time out at fairy house and also number 16 down the bottom young ted from the Noel Mead stable. Moving on to the fourth leg in the pick six, it is the 320, it's a three mile handicap hurdle, and boy, this is tricky. We're gonna include number 11, Global Racing, who seems to have turned a corner for uh, Gavin Cromwell and Ger Fox, and also Load Up Time, who's been pretty consistent recently for Gordon Elliott, and may be just about to get his head in front, that is Load Up Time. Moving on to the 350, a two mile novice chase, and this is the banker, the banker on your pick six coupon. It is a Tom Taft trained Riders on the Storm, who I think is gonna make a terrific chaser. He's been really eye-catching in two starts to date, particularly in the grade one at Limerick over Christmas, when third to hard line, that's a really strong piece of form. And I think we've yet to see the best of them over fences. So that is your banker on the pick six coupon. And leg five at 350, it is number six, Riders on the Storm. The sixth and final leg, it is the feature event, it is the Grand National Trial, and it is wide open. We're going to include three in our pick six coupon. The Gordon Elliott trained Duna Cost, who has had a little bit of a disappointing season, but he's coming down the weights. Also number 10, Solomon Grundy, who would have been a big fancy for the Paddy Power Chase of Leprechaun over Christmas, but didn't show up there. And won a flyer down at the bottom, Wishmore from the Joseph O'Brien stable, who I think is potentially well treated over this trip. So they are, are your three in leg six of the pick six, the Grand National Trial. That is your toe pick six coupon. That is 72 units at one euro per unit. It will cost you 72 euro. Don't forget, there's a 50, 15,000 euro guarantee in the toe pick six and 50,000 euro guarantee in the toe play spot. Ireland is where it's at this weekend.